This tutorial is for downloading the Ming W64 file from the sourceforge.net and running the .exe file after download and getting a file error message. So this video will explain how to fix that. It's amazing such a popular compiler like Ming W64 download has so many users complaining about the exact same file error. Anyways, go to Google and search for Ming GW W64 in the search, and the first link that comes up of Ming W 64.org website, go there and download section. where it shows the Windows download link for Search Forge link and click on it. Download the file and wait for it to finish downloading. Go ahead, click the .exe, run the installer. Now there are two possibilities arise. Either you downloaded the source files or the installed files. If you downloaded the source files, then you need to go back and click the installer.exe file from the sourceforge.net. After downloading, run the installer.exe file and you get this dialog box. Click next and click next again. So on this screen, in the file path, type c slash mingw. Just type it in the box like this and click next. A lot of people will get this error message. The file has been downloaded incorrectly. Now, if you don't see this error, continue with your installation normally. But if you see this error, I will show you how to fix this in alternative way, but getting the same result. Go to this link, which is given in the description. Click on that. Go scroll down a bit until you will see this file here. So click on that. We are going to download it in a bit. Now that you have this file, this file is zipped file. You will have to extract it. In order to extract it, I will quickly show using 8-zip archiver since it's free to download. So go ahead to download 8-zip if you don't have WinZip Premium or any other unzip program. Go ahead, right click the file that was downloaded and click on extract. It's going to do unzip. You will notice the file will be extracted into mingw-64 folder. Go ahead and check the files are there. Right click on the folder and copy. Go to the C root drive. And go ahead and paste it here as is. Basically, we are doing the same exact thing the installer would have done. The whole point is to have mingw-64 on the C drive. Once we have it there, all we have to do is set up environment variables, which I will show you in the next step. Now go to your desktop and go to start button in the taskbar, start typing environment variables. You see the first search result, edit the system environment variables, click on it. Now on this window, go to environment variables, go to dialog box, the second part, scroll down to where it says path. Select that and edit. Now go to the bottom and go to the new button, click on it,
type C colon slash main W64 is where we installed it. Click OK and go to new button again for some cases if it didn't work just to make sure. Create another one type C slash min W64 slash bin slash. The first one is good but to make sure we have a second path. Click OK. Click OK again. Now at this point we have successfully installed min w64 configured on our system to make sure it works go to command type command and enter from taskbar then we open the command line which should show your profile user account as mine is shaz4 verify we have min w64 installed just type gcc slash slash version and it should show this When command prompt shows you what version of GCC you have, that means you have successfully installed Minch W64. Now you can run Visual Studio Code Editor or any program that requires Minch W64 compiler on your system. Well, hope it worked for you and click like to like the video and click the red button to subscribe the channel. Enjoy this video? Then must have a look at these videos.